Hi folks, um, we're working on this uh, Lucky Ducky right now and as you can see I went ahead and I um, did all the cutting for the feathers and what you had to do was to learn how to figure out which feather was in front of another feather um, or layered on top of each other uh, to make it work. So. What I did here is I already pre-cut some of this and I just wanted to show you how I cut these feathers out. Um, what you want to do is put a stop cut in and then you're just going to follow that. You're going to put a stop cut in like this all the way around wherever your your lines are and then you're going to go back and you're just going to sliver a piece off so that's raised a little bit. Just like so. And here you again you have to be mindful how the grain is running. Because if you go the wrong way, for some reason that's not sharp enough. Let me go to my next knife here. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you you cut it out. Now what I'm going to do here, I am not going to... Um, oh, here's the feathers that should be done first and then these. I already pre-cut these uh, lines out that you see. I took a knife and, and followed it all the way down and around up to underneath these feathers here and then we go back with the knife and just trim that out just like so and sometimes you got to turn your knife the other way to get that corner out it's really important that your knives are sharp when you do this if it's not sharp you're going to notice a real difference in this uh, when you go to cut it okay now that's a little deeper there and that's okay I'll just slice that out a little bit and um, we're going to just go the other way here. You just have to feel how that wood's going to tug, you know. And sometimes you do it to have to cut it right across the grain itself. Where this meets up here and underneath the other feather, you just want to put a little, dig that in a little bit deeper. Because if you don't, you won't get that corner out. Just like so. See? And then we're going to go around this way and then we're going to turn around and go the other way just like so alright so that's how all these feathers are done um, and so that's how I'll, I'll do these offline and then the top feathers here I cut this out um, the same way you're just gonna take your knife and you're just gonna sliver this portion out and what I do, um, I'm not going to really sand this down. You can sand it down if you want. Uh, it's not necessary. I'm just going to kind of leave it a little rough looking. I think, I think I'm either going to do it a yellow with with orange feet or I'm going to do a, um, a mallard, a little mallard. So, um, and I think that might be a little cuter to see and, and it will take a little more time to paint it. But I'm not going to show you the painting portion of it. I'll show you after it's done painted. Um, but I'll tell you the colors that I used and what goes where. So you can do it on your own. Again, where this meets underneath here, you want to make sure that you make a, a little bit of a stop cut. And remember, a stop cut is just taking your knife and, and following a line where you want that cut to stop at. Just like I did right there. Same, and that comes right out. And then what you want to do is hang on to this and go right around the corner with that tip of the knife there, just like that. Okay, so that's how you do all these feathers, and I'll get off line and I'll finish up the last two or three here. The the feathering on the back here is very simple. On the tail, you just want to go put a little stop cut and round it. One. I already have the line drawn on two three and what you're going to do is this is the top one you're just going to sliver this part out and then the next part and the last part and to make it look a little nicer what I'll do is I'll round that off just a tad where it meets okay see I did that let's see if I can get the chip so you can see it a little bit better and same thing here I'm just curved put a little bit of a curvature in 
see it here it snap okay and you're just gonna round that off same thing with the bottom one just make it a little bit shorter see how that makes it look like a little bit more of a feathering look all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up everything I'm gonna go back and take off all these lines with with a knife a little bit I'm gonna clean it up and the one thing I want to do with the um, with the eyes is I'm just gonna follow I'm gonna do this one eye with you I'm not gonna put a glass eye in I'm just gonna leave it but I'm gonna definitely make it look like it's an eyeball so I'm gonna go halfway on the top over here and I have this drawn in with a pencil just to show me where to put the eye you know that it's even with the other side and then we're gonna take it and we're gonna do the bottom half just like so alright what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig a little piece out just to round it up a little bit alright and then I'm gonna take the knife go down the other way I'm gonna turn it around I'm gonna do the other half quarter one quarter on that side one quarter on this side you can buy glass eyes if you want that's up to you and what I'll do is I'll just put that little black dot in the center and maybe use that clear nail polish as a as a gloss later on okay so that's just the um, let me just round that up a little bit I'm probably going to see this a little better up close, but that's roughly how I'm going to put the eyeball in. Now I'll do the other side a little a little later, but if you draw that on and you can figure out exactly where to put it. So when I come back, it will be my last segment. It will actually be done and painted. What we're going to do is we're going to either, um, I haven't decided which I'm going to do yet. What I might do, just for the heck of it, I might just make it all yellow first and see how that looks. If I don't like it, I can paint over top of it. It's not that dark that you couldn't cover it again. So, why don't I do that? I'll, I think I'll try that out first. We'll make them a little yellow duckling type duck and if you like it that way, you can leave it that way. Um, and if you don't, you can paint it the mallard color and I'll explain to you how I'll get a mallard over here to show you the colors that we ha will have to make it to make it look like a mallard. Okay, folks, so we'll be back. I'm going to finish up all the feathering. I'm not going to sand it. I'm just going to make it a rough-looking kind of uh, a duck. And I'm just going to clean it up with a knife a lot. You know, even out a lot of this stuff here that you see. You know, like this right here. I, I'll take a knife and just make it blend in a little bit. So a lot of my, my knife will smooth it out. Okay, but you'll see a little bumps here and there anyway. Okay, and then we'll finish up the other eye, and we'll be ready to paint it. And when it comes, when we come back, you'll see it all done uh, as a um, a yellow duck. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> 